Hey guys, I'm Andrea Peterson and today we're going to do our Align Ignite. Um, we're out in my backyard. Um, we've got some sun. It looks like we might lose some sun, but um, that's okay. It's nice and warm. I think spring is upon us. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, today we're going to work on our kind of intention that I want you guys to think about setting is being right where you're at. Whether that's in the sun, in the shade, at home with your family, at home by yourself, at home with your roommates. I just want you to take a second, take a deep breath in, and just honor right where you're at. So I want you guys to come to the front of your mat, just wiggle those toes, standing nice and tall. Drop those arms down, open the thumbs up, close your eyes, and just take a t just a second to just breathe and be present, whether you're in your living room, your backyard, your bedroom, your rooftop if you are so lucky, your balcony. And just take a few moments to just breathe with gratitude for having breath, for being alive, for being healthy, and for joining us today. Deep breath in and out. Again, big breath in and out. Placing your right hand on your belly, left hand on your heart. Just take a second to connect with your emotions, energetically, mentally, and physically, and breathe all together. And just remember that this is what makes you who you are. Big breath in and out. Again, big breath in and out. While you're taking time to breathe for yourself and to be present wherever you are, whoever is around yourself, Take a little judgment and expectation off your shoulders. It's one of the beautiful things about yoga is that you don't have to, you get to and you can. You don't have to write the next screenplay. You don't have to learn a new language. Just be where you are. Take this time of rest. It looks like we've got several weeks ahead of us. And I just want you to honor just where you are today when you woke up, what it is that you have on your to-do list. Give it as a goal, as an intention, but again, Remove expectation or judgment. Because when we place that, we place failure. Because then if we don't achieve it, or if we don't achieve it the way we want to successfully, then we've failed at something. So honor what you want to do, honor where you want to go and accomplish. Again, remove expectation and judgment. Take a couple more deep breaths in and out. And allow yourself to just be as you are. Big breath in and out. So as you set your intention for your practice today, as we move, as we sweat, as we flow, I invite you to set an intention that's just something that guides you, something that gives you a moment to move towards, a breath to breathe into, something that allows you to just be as you are. very slowly dive down through center and hang low shaking everything out being nice and loosey-goosey sweeping side to side right and left and on your next inhale come up halfway opening that heart forward exhale forward on your next inhale sweep those arms behind you to open up your heart as you sweep yourself all the way up to the sky exhale heart center big breath in deep inhale in sweep those arms up Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way back up to standing. Exhale, heart center. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, it out the mouth. Beautiful. We're going to move a little bit, a little flow, a little sun salutations as we move. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Take your time with it. Move with your breath. Inhale. As soon as that ex inhale peaks, exhale. Plant those hands. Step back to plank, holding in your chaturanga as we lower down in your exhale. 
inhale up for cobra exhale tuck those toes downward dog take a second to walk out your downward dog this might be your first movement of the day if you've been sitting if you just woke up or maybe it's at the end of the day and you have been sitting all day just take a second maybe you flip that left foot over press those toes into the ground maybe you flip the right foot over press those toes into the ground walk it out for one more inhale and exhale pressing both heels down wrap those shoulders under those armpits drop that head chin to chest take a deep breath in and side out the mouth one more time big breath in and out on your next inhale soften those knees gaze forward walk or hop to the front of your mat and come up halfway exhale fold. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way back up to the sky. Exhale, heart center. Taking a deep breath in right here. Exhale, sign it out the mouth. Moving a little bit. Inhale, big arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, plant those hands. Step back to plank. Pause here for a moment. Stretch those heels back. Shoulder blades to your tailbone. Activate the core. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, lower down to Chaturanga. Inhale, open up to Cobra or Up Dog, whatever's in your practice. Exhale, tuck those toes, Downward Dog. Take a second to really press those heels down, stretching out those hamstrings and calves. We'll need them for later today. Take a deep breath in and out. On your next inhale, lift that left leg up to the sky, reaching nice and high, pressing your right heel into the ground. And on your exhale, stepping that left foot through to your left thumb. Reaching it forward, taking that low runner's lunge. Inhale, release your right knee down, untuck your toes. Sweep your arms up, slight back bend, reaching up and high behind you for one inhale. And one exhale. Big breath in. Exhale, plant those hands, extend that left foot back up into the sky for three-legged dog. And lower it down to downward dog. Inhale, press into the mat with your left heel, float the right leg to the sky, reaching nice and high, dropping that head. And on your exhale, stepping that right foot through, finding that low runner's lunge, pausing here for a moment, creating your foundation. Deep breath in and release that left knee down, untuck those toes. Inhale, sweep your arms up nice and high, back bend. Stretch into that hip, keep the core active, deep breath in and out. One more big inhale in. Exhale, plant those hands. Step that right foot back up into the sky. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, soften those knees, gaze forward. Step your feet to the front of the mat and come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, heart center. One more flow. Inhale, up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, plant those hands, step back to plank. Pause here for a moment. Press those heels back, shoulder blades to your tailbone. Deep breath in, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, tuck those toes, downward dog. Inhale, float that left leg up to the sky. Exhale, bend at the knee, opening up your hip just a little bit, that side body, take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale, that left leg back up to the sky. Exhale, step it through to that left thumb. Pause here for just a moment. Inhale, sweep those arms up for warrior one. Drop that heel. Engage that core. Deep breath in. Exhale, side out the mouth. Inhale, open up for warrior two. Deep breath in. Exhale, side out. Inhale, reverse it for a deep breath in. Exhale, side out. One more big breath in. Exhale, cartwheel those hands down and send that left foot straight back up into the sky. Exhale, lower down to downward dog. Inhale, float the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, bend at the knee, opening up the hip, stretching it out. Feel free to roll those ankles if you like. And one more big breath in. Inhale, take that right leg back up to the sky. Exhale, step it back through through the right thumb, finding that low runner's lunge. And on your next inhale, dropping the left heel down, Inhale, warrior two, I'm sorry, warrior one. Deep breath in and out. Inhale, lift up, now open up for warrior two. Take a pause, exhale it out. Inhale, reverse, 
stretching behind you, deep breath in and out. And on your next inhale, pause and sweep those arms forward and send that right foot straight back up into the sky. Exhale, lower down to downward dog. Inhale, soften those knees, gaze forward. Walk or hop to the front of your mat and come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, heart center. Beautiful. Shaking everything out. We are now moving into our ignite portion of this video. If you're outside, if you're on your patio, your porch, hardwood floor, feel free to put on your tennis shoes and your socks for support. If you're in a good foundation place and you're comfortable with your feet, stay barefooted, but we will be jumping a little bit. You don't need any equipment today. It is all body weight. You guys will be great. Grab your mats, grab some water. You guys have a one minute break and then we're gonna start moving. I'm gonna put my tennis shoes on because we're outside on cement and I think it will hurt if I step on a rock. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Okay, now we're ready to sweat and start moving. We're gonna first do a nice little round with our legs. This is going to be a 40 second round. This first round, if you want to and you have a weight, you can grab it and hold it at your chest. We're gonna start with a wide legged plie. You're gonna come down here. Then we're gonna rotate to the right. You're gonna simply drop that left leg. You're gonna step it forward and then you're gonna step it back and open into a wide legged plie. Then you're gonna rotate to the other direction. Step it forward and step it back and open it up. Once you are down here, you don't come back up. You're going to feel that in your quads and your glutes. It's going to burn. Is everyone ready? And lower down. Rotate to the right. Twist. Step that left together. Step it back. Open it up. Twist to the other direction. Step it together. Step it back and open. Stay low. Twist. Step. Step it back and open. Twist, step it together, step it back, and open. Nice, you guys got it. Keep it going, keep moving. Activate the core, have that part of the twist as we move together. Stay low, you got 10 more seconds. We can give it two more, and together, and step it back, open, step it to the right, step it together, step it back, last, open. Look, you survived your first 40 seconds, next one. All right, you've got 10 seconds. This next one is a lunge round, so watch me. We lunge forward. We lift up the opposite leg. We hinge it forward. We step it back together. Then we alternate, so it's a lunge. Lift, hinge, lunge back together. Ready? 40 seconds, starting with that left leg. Let's go. Lunge, lift, hinge, step it back together. Remember, it is a hinge, not a kick. Step forward. Raise, hinge, back. This is slow moving. If you move fast, you're moving with momentum. If you move slow, you're moving with muscle. That should be like a t-shirt or something. You gotta keep breathing. You got 20 more seconds. Keep that core, use it to do the hinge and step it back together. Again, forward lunge, knee raise, hinge forward, lunge back, step it together. Right leg. Lunge forward, knee raise, step it, hinge it, <laughs> step it back, and together, shake it out. I want you guys to start jogging in place while I give you this next one, or walk it out if you need to. All right, this next one, we're gonna plant into our standing foot. We're gonna swing our opposite out, leg out. We're gonna swing it across, we're gonna go out, and then we're gonna bend, all right? We're gonna do 20 seconds on each side. Starting with this right leg, stand tall, Extend that left leg out, across, out, and bend. Back up, across, 
out and bend. When you bend, I want you to stay tall. So everything, if there was a table right here, you wouldn't be able to see my body move. Across, out, hips and ribs together. One more time, across, out, hips and ribs together, up, lower down. Other side, stick that right leg out. Cross it over, out, lower, back up, across, out, stand tall. Again, stay like a statue, nice and vertical. Out, you're gonna feel this in your hip flexors, whoo. Yeah, you're gonna feel that burn, out, back. One more time, lower it down, out, across, back, last time, up. I made you do one more, but you had it in you. And shake it out, you guys. Last leg round. We're gonna work those hamstrings. Grab that mat right under your back. We are moving into hip raisers, but they're one-legged hip raisers. It's going to look like this. You guys keep running in place. We're gonna come up, basically up here. We're gonna extend one leg out. Then we're gonna lower the hips down and back up. You will feel this right here. So this is a leg workout. Are you guys ready? 40 seconds, we're gonna do 20 on each side. And lift those hips up, ready? Left leg up, hips down, and back up. Try to keep that leg parallel with the other thigh so it's one straight line. You got it, feel it in your hamstrings. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, switch legs. Right leg goes out. Again, make it parallel with your thigh. Drop those hips and come back up. You're getting a two for one on this. This is core and this is hamstring. What little people don't know is your core is basically mid-thigh through your hips and your abs. It's all that stuff that gives you good posture and helps you balance. All right, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lower that right foot down, pop it up. Time to move your mat out of the way because it's your hit round. All right, for this hit round, you have four exercises. We're gonna do each one for 30 seconds and then you get a 10 second break. We're gonna do it twice. Push through, be strong because after it, you get one minute rest and you get to drink some water, which I know we all want. But first, we are gonna sweat it out. This first one is a jump to a single leg, alternating. You're gonna jump forward, you're gonna land on that foot, and you're gonna step back. Jump forward, land on the other foot, step it back, okay? It's gonna go like this, and back, this, and back. Then we're going into a Heisman, it's gonna work the side. So you know, like those football players, it's like a skater lunge, except we're gonna go hop, hop, Heisman, hop, hop, Heisman, hop, hop, Heisman, yeah? and then we'll pick up the speed the second round. The third thing we're gonna do is a burpee to a jumpy, jumpy jacks to a wide-legged plie. So up, back, one, two, jump forward into a wide-legged, and up, back, one, two, wide-legged, up, all right? And the last thing we're gonna do is a bear crawl, and you are going to move inches with your feet. So you are gonna be down. You're gonna be like in a tabletop. Your foot's gonna go forward and back, but it's barely gonna move an inch. All right, you guys ready? 30 seconds, 10 off. 30 seconds, 10 off, all right? We're gonna do these four times. I mean, we're gonna do these eight times, twice each. You guys ready for that first one? We're jumping into single legs and begin. Jump, step it back. Jump, step it back, jump, step it back, jump, step it back. Land forward, weight is forward. Really try to go like you're running a race, all right? You got 15 seconds. You're already halfway through this one. Yeah, forward and back, forward and back. Again, 10, I'm sorry, that's five, four, three, two, and one, all right, you got 10 seconds. Walk it out, keep that heart rate up. We're moving into our Heisman, ready? In five, four, three, two, one. Hop, hop, Heisman, hop, hop, Heisman. Use your arms, get them involved. It's gonna work 
those back muscles, which why not? Legs, abs, backs, we're doing it all. You got it, 15 seconds, keep it going. Hop, hop, Heisman. If you want to, pick up the pace. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going into that burpee, walk it out. You've got 10 seconds. Catch that breath. Remember, up, down, jumping jacks, wide-legged. All right, three, two, one. Up, back, one, two, wide-legged. Up, back, one, two, wide-legged. Again, up, back, one, two, wide-legged. Keep it going. When you jump forward into your wide-legged, make sure you're bringing the core in and those knees wide, all right? 15 seconds, up, back, one, two, wide-legged, right there. Up, back, one, two, wide-legged. Let's do one more. Up, back, one, two, wide-legged, and up, walk it out. You have 10 seconds. We're heading down to that bear crawl. Ready? Lower that body down. Three, two, one. Knees in, knees back. Again, we're barely moving an inch. Those knees are an inch off the ground. Your core is engaged. Your glutes are firing. Your quads are moving. And we're not going anywhere. You got it, 15 seconds. Stay low, don't give up. You get a 20 second break after this. <sighs> and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hop it up. You got 20 seconds because I'm nice. And we're going to do that all over again. And then you get a minute break to catch your breath. All right, 10 seconds. And we're heading back into those single leg jumps. Remember, catch your balance, activate everything in three, two, and one. Single leg jump, catch yourself, hop it back. Single leg jump, hop it back. Single leg jump, hop it back. Woo, yeah, we're gonna run that race Woo! right now. We may not be going anywhere, but we feel like we are. You got it, 15 more seconds. Catch yourself, really lean into it. I want the weight of your body to go forward in that jump. Woo, and five, four, three, two, and one. Step it back, you got 10 seconds. We're going into the hop, hop, Heisman's. Make sure this round, try to pick up that speed. In three, two, one, hop, hop, Heisman. Yes, there we go. We don't have the sports channel. NFL doesn't exist right now. NHL doesn't exist. NBA doesn't exist. The MLB doesn't exist. The MLS doesn't exist. But our backyard, our living room, our balconies, our bedrooms, they do exist. We are our own athletes right now. Woo, 15 seconds. Keep it up, hop, hop, Heisman. Hop, hop, Heisman. Hop, hop, Heisman. You got it, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out. You've got 10 seconds. And we're heading into those burpees. Remember, be good, be strong in five. We're almost to our break. Three, two, one. Yeah, up, back, one, two, wide-legged. Up, back, one, two, wide-legged. Up, when you guys jump back, make sure you're jumping back into a supported plank. Don't drop the belly. Make sure everything goes flat and is strong. It should look like this. Up, back, one, two, in, yeah, up, back, one, two, you got it, let's try to get three more in, up, back, one, two, wide leg, two more, you can do it, up, back, one, two, wide leg, one more, up, back, one, two, wide leg, walk it out, you got 10 seconds, last thing, bear crawls, and then we get a minute break, I want to know you guys are looking forward to that. Ready, lower it down. We start in three, two, one. 
in and out. Catch your breath. Woo. This is muscle. You got it. If you want to, pick up the speed in and out, in and out. You can keep it slow. That's totally fine. Woo. 15 seconds. Almost done. And 10. Lower down. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo. Hop it up. Walk it out. You got one full minute. Get some water. Stretch it out if you need to. Try to keep that heart rate up by walking around your bedroom. Even if it means doing weird figure eights. You got it. You got 45 seconds. Take this time to slow the heart rate down, to shake everything out. Take deep inhales in and sigh it out. Whew. All right, we got about 30 more seconds. We're gonna hit that core round. So if you're on some hardwood floor, if you're outside, go ahead and grab your mat, pull it over. When I do these hit rounds, I like to keep my mat folded. It's nice because then I can just slide it up under my sit bones. It stays out of the way and then I don't worry about like walking all over it. So you guys got about 15 more seconds. Walk it out. We're going to lower it down for our core round. Grab those mats, place them under your sit bones. We're about to get started. Whew. All right. In about 10 seconds, we will start. We're doing four core things. We're going to do them for 45 seconds each. It'll be good. It'll be easy. The first round, we're doing toe touches. All right. You're simply going to lay on your back, heart legs up to the sky. I've got a mic on, so my back doesn't go all the way to the ground, but yours should all the way down, and you're going to reach up to your toes. The second round, we're doing scissors. Hands on your sit bones. You're going to go one leg down, then the other leg down. All right? Third round, we're going to do full body crunches. Your legs are at a 90 degree angle. You're going to crunch in and out, in and out. So these are crunches, not sit ups. So you're going to more roll in with your abs versus lift up. And the last round is dead butt. Flat back, arms up. You're going to do alternating leg out and arm, leg out and arm. All right. So again, remember, I've got a mic on my back, so my back won't be flat on the ground, but yours should be. All right. 45 seconds. We're starting with those toe touches. Legs up in the air and begin reaching up straight up into the sky toe touches up you got it if you can have your feet all the way up if you can't reach your toes you can simply go straight up from where you're at lifting up you've got 30 seconds activate those cores really reach up for your toes give us a beautiful reach up and back you can also play with it if you want and hold it for five seconds this time is yours have fun You've got 15 seconds. And up, and down, and up, and down. You got it. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, last two, 3, 2, 1. Place your hands under your sit bones for scissors. We're going straight into it. Drop it down and switch. Release your head to the mat and switch. One leg is about an inch off the ground. Woo! Flex those feet. You'll feel the whole body being nice and active. Pause when you can. And if you want to, do one that is fast. And then pause. And pause. And then do fast. Play around with it. See what your core needs. Basically, keep your legs long. Your heels are flexed. You are pressing in and extending out. You got it for 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. We're going into those full body crunches. Hands behind your head. We're going out and in. Out and in. Feel your elbows reaching to your quads. If this is too much, you can do a crunch without the legs. And it's just here and back. Here and back. Keep it going. Full body. You want to feel yourself contracting, drawing your ribs to your thighs. In and out in and out. You got it. 15 more seconds. Finish strong for this core round. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
and one. Hop it up, grab some water. Woo! Doing mics so you guys can hear me. And it just makes the core run a lot easier, harder, I should say. All right, go ahead. You've got about a minute. Move this out of the way. We're going into our second hit round. You guys can do it. Be strong. Remember, we're doing each one 30 seconds, 10 second rest. We'll take a 20 second break in the middle because I left you guys. And then we're gonna do it all over again. You guys have about 20 more seconds. Maybe you wanna take your sweatshirts off. Maybe you wanna grab some water. Keep it up. Walk it out. Keep that heart rate going. We're about to get started. All right, you've got about 10 more seconds. Walk it out. Get that last cup of water. Put it off to the side. We don't really need the mat. You might need it. We will go down into mountain climbers if you wanna put your hands under it. You totally can. All right, these four. These are gonna be fun. All right, this first one, we squat shoulders, we step out, and then that standing leg kicks. Then we squat straight down, shoulders, wide-legged, other leg, straight down, wider, kick, straight down, wider, kick, okay? And this one is gonna be kind of more of a speed round. I would like you guys, I would invite you guys to do squat, wide, kick, squat, wide, kick. If that's too much for you and your cardio is a little too much, you can slow it down wider and kick, squat, wider and kick. But since this is a hit round, I'd love for you to pick up that speed if you can. And then we're gonna drop right down into mountain climbers. <clears throat> but we're gonna do knee to nose and elbows. So you alternate, it's gonna look like this. Knee to nose, elbow, knee to nose, elbow. It's gonna be a little awkward, so take your time with it. Knee, elbow, knee, elbow. You might have to pause so you can do a weight change, all right? Third thing, we're gonna do knee drives. We get to split up the time. 15 seconds on this side, and 15 seconds on this side. If you can, make it a jump. If you can't, you can simply step into it, all right? And the last round, similar to the Heisman, it's like a skater. We're gonna touch the ground, and we're gonna knee raise. So it's cardio, it's plyo, and balance all in one. You're gonna skate down, you touch, you raise that leg up. You skate, touch, Woo, find your balance, raise the leg up. Skate, touch, you're gonna wiggle, raise the leg up. Skate, touch, raise the leg up, all right? So it's all in one. You guys ready? We're gonna do this, 30 seconds, 10 break. 30 seconds, 10 break. I'm ready with you guys. All right, so we're gonna get it. 30 seconds on the clock and begin. Squat, wide, kick, squat, wide, kick, you got it, squat, wide, kick, straight under, wider, kick, straight under, wider, kick, keep that core active, whoo, you got it, stand tall when you kick, you got 13 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, last kick, 10 seconds, we're going down to those mountain fires, remember, pause between the change, Ready? In five, four, three, two, and one. Knee, elbow, knee, elbow. If you want to, if it's easier, go knee, 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 elbow, 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 knee, 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 elbow, 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 elbow. You play around with it if you need to. You can slow it down. This is also yours. You've got 10 seconds. You can go knee, knee, elbow, elbow and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hop it up. You've got 10 seconds. We start those knee drives in five, four, left side, three, two, one. Hop it in. Here, if you can, use your full body. It's like a skip. We got 10 seconds. Bring your knee to your chest. And five, four, three, Two, one, other side. Go right into it. You got it. Find your rhythm. Whew, 10 seconds. This one flies because we only have to do 15 on each side. And five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out. We're doing those skater touches. Touch the ground, lift the knee up. It's okay to wiggle. It's your body activating your muscles. Ready? Three, two, one. Skater ground, knee raise. Skater to the ground. Knee raise, you got it. Skater, balance, 
Skater, woo! Balance, skater, raise, skater, raise. You got 15 seconds. Up, skater. You'll find your rhythm, you'll find your balance. That's what those wiggles are for. They tell your body what it needs to do to find stability. Don't be afraid to fall. Just catch yourself with your body. Woo! And walk it off. You got 20 seconds. And we start that all over again. Woo! Catch your breath. Woo! 10 seconds. We start with those squats. This round, pick up the pace. In five, four, three, two, one. Squat, out, kick. You got it. Squat, out, kick. You got it. Squat, out, kick. Squat, straight down, out, kick. Squat, out, kick. 20 more seconds. Keep it going. If you can pick up the speed, why not? You got it. This is a hit round. We're going to finish strong. Then we got arms, and then we get rest. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Walk it out. You've got 10 seconds. We start into those mountain climbers in five, four, three, two, one. Down, in, out, in, out. If you stay on your toes, it's easy to weight change. You got it. Take the space that works for you. Woo, 15 seconds. Yes, you got it. Breathe through, stay over your wrist. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Hop it up. You've got 10 seconds. We're moving into those knee drives. 15 on each side. We're starting in five, four, three, heading left, two, and one. Make it a jump if you can. Woo! Yes. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Woo! You got 15 seconds on this side, and then we're into our skater lunges in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You got 10 seconds, walk it out. Last round, skater lunge touch, knee raise in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Skater touch, knee raise. Skater touch, knee raise. Skater touch, knee raise. Whew. You got it. Worth the balance, work it all. Everything is working together. Woo. And up, over, 15 seconds. You got it. Find that balance, root in, stand tall, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, walk it out. You've got one minute. Catch your breath, grab some water, towel off, if you are sweaty. Whew. I know I am catching my breath. I didn't bring my water bottle outside, but I hope you have yours. Run to the sink, drink it up, hydrate. That's what I'm gonna be doing after this class. You guys got about 30 more seconds. Keep walking again if you need to. Find those figure eights. All right, so for this arm round, we're gonna box because I'm a boxer and I love boxing. And it's a great way to get an arm workout without having to do too many push-ups, even though we are, um, and without weight. So this first round, you're gonna place that right foot forward. It's a jab, jab, cross, hook. Real quick, while you're walking around, jabs and crosses are all forward with fingertips down. Hooks are to the side with the thumb side up. Uppercuts are up and under, okay? So you basically have three versions of punches. Jab, cross, fingertips down, hooks, side to side with your thumb side up. Uppercuts, under, under, okay? You're gonna work the shoulders, you're gonna work the lats, you're gonna work the obliques, you're gonna get a great upper body workout, okay? So this first one, right foot forward, jab, cross, hook, all right? Then you drop down and you give me a normal push up, all right? So you're gonna jab, cross, hook, drop down, push up. You're gonna come up, left foot forward, other side, jab, cross, hook, step back, push up, step right foot forward, and come up, jab, cross, hook, okay? So these are all 40 seconds, it'll fly by really fast. If you need to, drop to your knees to do your push ups. I'd rather you do them correctly with the right form, all right? So starting with that right foot forward, 
We're gonna do 40 seconds. Ready? And begin. Jab, cross, hook, step back, push up. Left foot forward. Ready? Jab, cross, hook. Step back, push up. Right foot forward. You got it. Jab, cross, hook. Step back, push up. Left foot forward. Jab, cross, hook. Down. Step back, push up. Right foot forward. Jab, cross, hook. Down and push up. Left foot forward. Jab, cross, hook. If you can pick up the speed, feel free. Push up. Right foot forward. Jab, cross, hook. Down. Push up. Step up, left foot. Jab, cross, hook. Nice. You got five seconds or 10 seconds because I'm going to explain this next round. And we're going to get those thighs involved. Jab to the face. Drop down. Jab to the gut. Take that left hand. Hook, hook. Then you're gonna drop down and give me a tricep push-up. That's like a chaturanga. Those elbows stay glued in. So it's gonna look like this. Jab to the face, drop down, jab to the gut. Hook, hook, drop down, tricep push-up. Left foot comes forward. Jab to the face, drop down, jab to the gut. Hook right, hook right. Drop down, tricep push-up, all right? Ready? Whew. I might need my knees on this one. I'm gonna admit, I'm getting tired and I'd rather support my back, all right? You guys ready? Starting with that right side. In three, two, one, jab to the face, drop down, jab to the gut, hook, hook, come down, tricep push up, left foot forward, you got it. Jab, drop down, jab, hook, hook, drop down, tricep push up, hop it up, right foot forward, jab to the face, jab to the gut, Hook, hook, drop down, tricep push up, hop it up, you got it, jab to the face, jab to the gut, hook, hook, drop down, tricep push up, one more, each side, I know we can do it, jab, jab, hook, hook, drop down, tricep push up, hop it up, you got it, left side, jab, jab, hook, hook, last time, drop down, tricep push up, Pop it back up. Woo! Last one. You're gonna actually start with the cross this time. So that right leg is forward. So you're gonna go cross, uppercut, hook, hook, okay? So start with that left hand, it will cross, upper, hook, hook. All right, you're gonna drop down. We're gonna do triangle push-ups right into the chest. Create a nice little triangle. You're gonna go down. Your arms are gonna go at an angle. Again, feel free to use the mat below you. I'm gonna actually open it up. It's on its backside. I don't mind stepping on it. All right, ready? Last arm round, 40 seconds, then we cool down. You guys ready? And begin. Cross, upper, hook, hook, drop it down. Chest, triangle, and down. Pop it up, left foot forward. Cross, upper, hook, hook. Drop it down. Give me a triangle. Hop it up. Right side. Cross. Upper. Hook. Hook. Drop it down. Triangle push up. Hop it up. Left side. You got it. Cross. Upper. Hook. Hook. Drop it down. Triangle. One more time. Each side. You got it. Cross. Upper. Hook. Hook. Drop it down. Triangle. Woo! Pop it up, left side, cross, upper, hook, hook, drop it down, Woo. triangle, and hop it up. You got it. Go ahead, open that mat up. We're gonna calm it down. We're gonna find a nice little stretch. If you want to, you can take your shoes off and head to your mat for a stretch. Everyone's standing nice and tall, shake it out. Deep breath in, deep inhale, and deep exhale. Reconnecting with that intention from the beginning of practice, meditating on being right where you're at. Hit sometimes can seem scary because we move, we go fast, we run out of breath. But the cool part is there is always rest at the end. Taking a deep inhale in and exhaling it out. Beautiful big breath in, sweep those arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. 
Drop your head, hang loose, deep inhale in, come up halfway. Exhale, plant those hands, step back to a plank, and lower your knees down. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, press back to a child's pose. Big toes together, knees wide, and drop your head down to the mat. Rocking it side to side, releasing any furrow you might have in the brow. Deep inhale in, and exhale it out. As you're here on the mat, bowing in gratitude to yourself with thanksgiving, make sure every breath is filling up every nook and cranny of that body. I want you to take that left arm. We're going to thread the needle under the right. We're going to find our left forearm, shoulder on the ground, reaching that right arm forward, pressed into that left shoulder blade. Take a deep breath in and exhale it out. And big breath in and out. Release that left arm forward. Take that right arm under and press into your shoulder. Deep breath in and out. Beautiful again. Deep breath in and out. Release that right arm forward. Press back into those sit bones. Nice and long. Deep into your heels. And one final big breath in. And side out the mouth. Press into the ground, rise to a comfortable seated position. With your eyes closed and your hands resting naturally where they lay. Take a few moments to honor your body. The practice that you were showing up for today. Your workout, every sweated feet that fell down your house, your face, thanksgiving for it. Deep inhale in. Just remember during this time of what feels like house arrest to take care of your body and take care of your mind. Be productive, but also be at rest.